Let's assume John tells you he discovered a special dice rolling technique that enables him to roll a 6 more frequently than the average person. To prove it, he rolls a dice in front of you and it actually ends up being 6. However, it's not enough to impress you because it might simply be a matter of luck, as there's a 1 in 6 or roughly 16.7% chance of that happening regardless of which dice rolling technique you use. A researcher who wants to determine if John is right or wrong starts with a so-called null hypothesis, which states that no, there is no relationship between the technique you use and how often you roll a 6. In other words, you start by assuming that John is wrong. John hopes the null hypothesis will be rejected because it would mean it's very likely, even if not 100% certain, that he's right. He ultimately rolls the dice a thousand times and it lands on 6 in 20% of the cases, so higher than the previously mentioned 1 in 6 odds. Is this enough to negate the null hypothesis? Well, no, because we also have to determine whether the findings are statistically significant. To do this, we calculate the so-called p-value, which is a number between 0 and 1 that lots of applications easily generate for us based on the data we provide. Generally speaking, if the p-value is lower than 0 0.05, it's a good argument in favor of rejecting the null hypothesis and making John happy. In our case, we'll assume the p-value is 0 0.04, which is low enough to reject the null hypothesis and kind of like us saying, John's 20% success rate is better than the standard 1 in 6 odds, but there is a 4% likelihood this only happened by chance. Therefore, while we cannot be 100% certain John's technique works, we can say that the lower the p-value is, the more certain we are. All in all, here's how things work. 1. Start with a null hypothesis. 2. Gather and interpret data. 3. Calculate the p-value to determine if your findings are statistically significant. 4. If your data supports John's claim and the p-value is lower than 0.05, you will reject the null hypothesis and John will be pleased.